right, so first things first, I wanted to show you this quick little clip that was on the R cryptocurrency subreddit. And let's take a look. Watch the straw. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? All the way. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, Jesus! No, no, Jesus! And the reason I wanted to throw that in there, because I'm not sure if you caught the, the words or not, because it was pretty quick. But anyway, so the caption said, uh, 10x IEO price. Oh, amazing. Time to buy. And then the guys are laughing. They said, he fell for it. Haha, <laughs> whatever. You know, the whole point of this is it, per it, seg it segues perfectly into what I wanted to talk about in this video today, uh, which all stem from some guy uh, trolling my comments once again. So, but anyway, so right now the new hit, in case you haven't noticed, is uh, DeFi. And it's all about yield farming, which all stems from these food coin clones that keep popping up left and right. Uh, the latest and greatest one is the Sushi Swap. Um, and I'm not sure you saw the drama with this one, but, you know, just... About a week and a half ago, the founder of SushiSwap decided to dump all of his crypto. Um, and he said, I did the recent move because I care about the community. I converted them to ETH. I stopped caring about the price and I will focus on the techni technicality of the migration. All right. Jeff Nami, which was the creator of this SushiSwap, was the only person to have access to 27 million in sushi tokens all right and this is the scenario that everyone in crypto is throwing money at right now like oh i gotta get it i gotta get it you know what's gonna be the next one to 10x all right so because of this whole drama the creator has decided to return the 14 million dollars of profit um, that he made after the community basically told him he exit scammed which of course he did i don't know how he thought that that one was just gonna uh, work out in his favor but anyway he says he returned all the 14 million worth of ETH back to the treasury and will let the community decide how much he deserves as the original creator of sushi swap which is only um to my understanding copy paste code basically of uniswap so which is what all these garbage DeFi swap platforms are that are coming out right now and I wanted to continue to reiterate that because at least on my channel, you know, I don't care if I only have 300 subs, which I just passed today or yesterday. So I was going to mention that as well. But yeah, I crossed 300. Um, so it's nice to see, you know, I at least have an audience of about 300 people listening, which is fine because you got these guys with 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000. And all I want to talk about is this garbage that is going to get people burned. So before I continue to uh, dive deeper into this video, um, you know, first and foremost, I want to talk about the idea behind all this DeFi, you know. So if you're trying to, first and foremost, if you're trying to buy this stuff just because it's going to go up 10x or whatever you think it's going to do, 2, 3, 4, whatever times your money, um, what are you going to do if you get it right, you know? You put the money in, it goes up 10 times. What do you do? Do you sell and get out and you never touch crypto again? Uh, you know, that might be the smarter move in that situation. But what I'm really getting at is, no, you're not going to. If you hit it home on Sushi Swap, you're going to jump over and you're going to try to do the same bullshit with Burger Swap, aren't you? Because greed kicks in and you start looking at the numbers. Oh, I took 3000 to 30000 Maybe Burger Swap can take me from 30,000 to 300,000. Uh, and then eventually I can move that 300,000 into bakery swap. And that one's gonna make me 3 million because I'm just killing it and I'm a genius and I 10X everything. All right, as I've said before, undoubtedly there's gonna be a time where one of these goes to zero instead. So you 10X, 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 and then on four, when that greed's really getting you, you get hit with a zero you know you get dumped on by mr founder uh <laughs> one thing about this guy too is he said uh 
you know, well, I'm the creator. I deserved something out of it. That's why I sold. Um, you know, and he said, I've been working on this for a week or something like that. It's like, all right, dude. So you build this clone of another platform in a week and you think you deserve $7 million or $14 million, whatever it is. Oh, man. All right. I don't want to get off on too many tangents, but here we go. Um, you know, there's sushi, there's burgers, there's bakeries, there's all kinds of garbage. Um, you know, this is seriously a big distraction and people are just going to continue to lose money and they're going to have their eyes looking left when really what all the global elites, the people that decide what happens with the future of the world are all over here on the right. Well, you're looking left at DeFi, they're on the right and they're actually making moves behind the scenes. So, oh man, this whole situation really just reminds me of this picture. Uh, I saw this on Cointelegraph a couple weeks ago talking about yearn finance and it's just like ah, 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 look at all these people waiting to just please take my money 10 exit i need you to just to hear <laughs> take the whole bag please <laughs> that's what this reminds me of man um but yeah everyone's really distracted you know you're kind of out there in no man's land if you're really focused on this sushi and this burgers and this bakery crap i mean you don't have to think too hard to realize that it's probably not going anywhere all right DeFi is an experiment, all right? So this yield farming and all this stuff, it just shows a use with smart contracts, but they're not solving real world issues. And that's what it really comes down to as well. Are you solving anything? Is there an actual use case that, are you taking your business idea to other companies and saying, hey, look, this is how I can provide value to you? Uh, well, yeah, I got my sushi coin and uh, you know I have a 100% annual yield return for people but it only lasts two days okay get out of my office why are you in here you know that's what they're going to say to you but anyway all right tying that all into solid digital asset investor actually talk about this um document 130 page document by the world economic forum you know i keep mentioning them in my videos lately and this came out in august of 2016 130 page document and they're talking about the future of financial infrastructure right and i dug around all through this document and i could not find anything talking about sushi swap or burger coin or uh bakery swap it wasn't in there uh, it's weird you know i'm trying to find the future of uh finance in here but sushi coin's not gonna happen apparently all right anyway but yeah digging through here uh you know you can dive deep into this all you want probably won't but you know <laughs> they have a list of subject matter experts that they said that they spent over 12 months speaking to and gathering all the appropriate information they needed about the future of financial infrastructure and of course chris larson from ripples in there uh this other guy dilip rao from ripple as well uh, one that i wanted to talk about that i thought was interesting is you have this Cheryl Parker Rose, who is from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. So, as you guys might recall, I've mentioned before um, that some recent rule changes were made to the remittance, uh, you know, how remittances move around the world. Um, and it's mentioned briefly in this article the Euro U.S. Bureau of Consumer Financial Protection says Ripple and XRP will transform remittance markets. In a new law, the U.S. Consumer Protection Bureau of Finance named Ripple and XRP as potential game changers that could fundamentally transform the remittance market. I couldn't find sushi swap at all in these rule changes either, um, but if you want to come check it out right here on the federalregister.gov, I've went through this uh, multiple times in videos. Um, but yeah, rule changes happened and they specifically mention Ripple and XRP, which went into effect on July 21st of this year. So uh, that about covers that. I mean, but there's another page here. As mentioned, this analysis was based on over 12 months of research, engaging industry leaders and subject matter experts through interviews and multi-stakeholder workshops. And who do they have in there? I couldn't find Sushi Coin. I tried, 
Uh, but they have Stellar, they have Ripple, uh, they have Digital Currency Group, who is a large owner in XRP. Oh, Federal Reserve's in there. I mean, whatever, I don't have to deep dive this with you. Ripple, Stellar, Coinbase, Circle, um, all these, you know, Hyperledger, all these well-known uh, crypto companies have been working with the World Economic Forum and all these uh, well, government entities and BlackRock and Deloitte and Visa and Santander, who is a Ripple customer and client, uh, the DTCC. So all these people have been meeting behind the scenes, uh, talking about planning the future of the financial infrastructure, basically. So, oh man, these two kind of tied in together for a video for me just because... I had this guy, UMG number one enemy, comment on a video I uh, made up talking about Nash Exchange and how it's the best DEX in existence um, because of a couple reasons I gave. I'll go ahead and put the video up here in the right hand corner. You can watch if you'd like to. Um, but anyway, he wants to tell me, Sushi makes people money while this scam does nothing but make false promises, son. Sushi got listed on Binance after only being in the market for like a month. Meanwhile, Nash been around for two years and does nothing to get the coin listed. Not even on their own exchange. All right. This is the stuff I just want to point out to people. Like, are you really going to focus on, oh, well, Sushi coin got listed on Binance. Well, what do you think? How do you think that happened? Maybe Binance knew the assholes behind the scene that were creating that. Probably. If not, they just paid them to list it. All right, this is how this stuff works. Meanwhile, like I said, you're looking left. You're doing sushi coin. You're doing burger coin. You're doing bakery coin. And, uh, you know, they're on the right. So you do what you want. But I'm not chasing after all this yield farming and this nonsense. I'm chasing after the uh, crypto projects and entities that are in the room with BlackRock and Deloitte and Standard Chartered and JP Morgan and Visa and DTCC and Santander and Morgan Stanley and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Swift and <laughs> you get it, right? You get it. So you do sushi. I'm doing the guys who are working on the future of the financial infrastructure of the world. All right. And that about covers it. As always, please like and subscribe, share with your friends and family, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks. What is a cashless society? What does it actually mean in a literal or high-level sense? Money will become like these, relics of a different age, and will only be found in places like this. In other words, hard cash will disappear. It will become electronic, transferred by things like these. Then Tracy is in Beijing to show us what a nearly cashless society actually looks like. Ben, good morning. Mobile payment transactions in China reached a cumulative total of 277.4 trillion RMB in 2018, ranking number one in the world, according to the recently released statistical report on internet development in China. As of June 2019, online payment users in the country reached 633 million. The cashless society is now approaching. When's the last time you paid with cash? Well, chances are cash has taken a back seat to the plastic in your wallet and smartphone pay apps. Denver 7's Ryan Luby explains the digital pay revolution and why not everyone is on board. The cashless society, the cashless society, the cashless society. The cashless society is now approaching. The cashless society. <laughs>